Syria, which is officially known as the Syrian Arab Republic, is located in Western Asia and currently in a state of civil unrest. Rebels have band together to form the Free Syrian Army, and they fight the government's army, the Syrian Arab Army. The rebels are demanding that President Bashar al-Assad resigns. This would end nearly five decades of rule by the Ba'ath Party. The conflict began on March 15, 2011, with nationwide demonstrations as a part of a wider protest movement known as the Arab Spring. Unlike many of the other countries in the Arab Spring, the armed conflict in Syria still continues and is growing. Freshman St. Edward's student, Ralph Kayat, is from Aleppo, Syria, which is the country's largest city. The city is at the heart of the armed conflict, and the Free Syrian Army and the Syrian Arab Army are fighting to control the city. The situation right now in Syria is terrible. It's been, it's been getting worse and worse over the last two years because of like the Arab Spring. The whole area has been destabilized. Um, I don't know. I, my opinion on it is that no side is doing the absolute right thing. And that the best way to explain it is that things just spiraled out of control. And now it's just, I, I don't see a, a solution to this in the near future. If you told me this would happen, I wouldn't have believed. led to the uprising in Syria is that the people there had lived through, um, under the father of the current president, um, many, several decades, I think, let's see, from close to three decades of uh, very tight political repression, um, although there, you know, it wasn't a really prosperous country, but it was safe from petty crimes, but people were really suffering through a lot of political repression. With the transfer of power from the father on his death in 2000, uh, was it 2000? 2000, 2000, to his son, people sort of expected a lot of reforms. They came very slowly and they didn't meet expectations. So when uprisings began in first Tunisia and then Egypt, um, and then not long before what happened in Syria, the uprising began in Libya, there was an uprising in Yemen, and protests in many other countries. Um, I think that the Syrian people saw this as a historic opportunity to begin demanding the kind of rapid political reforms that they'd expected for something like 10 years since the transfer to the new president. I, I, I don't know, I don't want to say anything because I can't tell you the truth. I'm, I don't know who knows the truth, but when people get killed, people get mad. One day the rebels or whoever it was, it, uh, they bombed a uh, government um, a government facility and that was nearby my house it was maybe one kilometer away and uh, I woke up in the morning because like the glass in my room was like shaking and it was just really really loud and um, I didn't know what it was I thought someone just slammed the door or something in my room or something but that's what it was and maybe 50 people were killed not strictly speaking the people against the regime but there are a lot of 
competing factors there. The regime is sort of the fixed thing in the middle. Um, many of the Syrian people, I think, are you know just sort of bystanders suffering from fighting between other factions. Uh, when you you know look through um, what people who still support the nonviolent movement in Syria are saying, they feel that they're sort of their villages are being under, you know, coming under attack from both the regime and these armed rebel groups who aren't, you know, they don't see themselves as part of one side or the other, but just caught in the middle. Before that, the Middle East, don't understand how safe it was. You can put me in any neighborhood at like 3 a.m. by myself, I wouldn't be scared. I don't think that as things are, there's likely to be a rebel victory. Even the people that are against the president 100%, they're not with that opposition force because they want they want to change, but they didn't want destruction. If everyone in Sierra was on their side, wouldn't they have won by now?